Welcome to another update from the Force 13 Australia Oceania channel where the tropical weather scene is uh, hotting up. We have 97 now, 09 tropical cyclone Gita. Central pressure 992 is located at 14 decimal 4 degrees south, 175 decimal 2 degrees west. CO7 is moving east at about 15 knots and Fiji has officially tagged it as a Cat 1 cyclone. Maximum 10 minute average uh, winds near the centre, estimated about 35 knots. Here's the uh, first track on the cyclone to be uh, given official status overnight. But Fiji, on advice, has decided to name it earlier. And it's heading for a Cat 2 level. Gita was named... Due to warning purposes requested by the Pago Pago Met Service as a night looms and it's expected to be a footy blown cyclone overnight, which will be Cat 1. Deep convection persistent in the northern semicircle. And here's another look at the Himawari 8 satellite view for the southwestern. Uh, region the NOAA floaters on the soon to be officially tagged as tropical cyclone Gita. Look at a couple of model uh, tracks on the uh, system available on the Tropical Titbits website. And there is uh, a difference between these two tracks. It's far too early to say what the system is going to do, but it's still a possibility. A look at the uh, tropical cyclone formation probability guide. Uh, we're going to see a tropical low uh, up there in the hour of USC. We have 99p, and here's the latest from the Samoa Met Office tropical cyclone warning cap one. 39.54 miles per hour will be affected for Samoa within the next 6 to 18 hours. Wind advisory remains in effect for all Samoa. Heavy rainfall. Flood advisory will be affected for low-lying coastal areas due to high surf from uh, Saturday morning. And there's also a advisory uh, out for small craft. And all Samoan open waters. The Joy Typhoon Warning Centre's current chart, and we can say goodbye to Tropical Cyclone 05S. The upper level divergence. This is for the uh, Southeast Pacific region. And upper level divergence is only around the uh, 20 to 30 knot mark. Now here's uh, the wind shear. And quite a bit of wind shear to the west. And switching uh, to Queensland. Strong wind warning is in place for the Torres Strait Peninsula case. This is due to uh, 99p. 
slow moving tropical zone lies in the northwest coral sea, approximately 490 kilometers north northeast of Cooktown. Near the border of the Papua New Guinea area, responsibility at this stage, the tropical low is rated a low chance of development. Into a tropical cyclone in the eastern region and it's expected to remain offshore of the Queensland east coast. Likelihood of a tropical cyclone over Saturday, Sunday, Monday remains low. So the possibility of a tropical cyclone has been ruled out. There are no significant tropical lows in the northern region. Trough currently near the north coast of the top end is expected to drift north into the area of the sea and slowly develop. A weak low pressure system may form on that trough. And if you look at the tropical cyclone formation probability guide, you can actually see the area uh, close to Darwin. Now we have a look at the 850 millibar vorticity for the southeast Pacific region and you can see where the Cat 1 cyclone is currently located. We still have uh, Invest 98p on the radar. And a beautiful day down there on the, the, the tree heads at the mouth of the river. Now we have a look at the NOAA floaters on Invest 99P. And it is starting to develop. There's more uh, convection or flowering sea surface temperature. It's only around the 29 Celsius mark. As the tropical weather scene is developing, we will be ramping up the uh, updates and possibly some uh, live streaming events on the AU channel. I'm not sure whether Nathan is going to start doing his uh, tropical weather bulletin on the main channel. That remains to be uh, decided. Now we have a look at the wind shear for the southwest Pacific region. A wind shear isn't really an issue, the shear tendency, 24 hour look. And as mentioned, the uh, systems love the area in blue and green, the 850 minute bar vorticity. And there's supposed to be a second low near to the northwest of Vanuatu. Now here's the upper level divergence and it's up around the 30 knot mark. Now, uh, over the last uh, couple of hours, Papua New Guinea uh, Met Office has upgraded their warning page, a strong wind warning it's in place for waters the southern Papua New Guinea Indonesian border region through Daru to Hood Point. And that is the area in light green and all that yellow represents other warnings. Turning to the Bureau of Meteorology's total forecast of rain and you can see where 99p is, the rainfall scale. It's on the right hand side of the screen and uh, of interest is the purple to the pink and again the RFUSC down over the Northern Territory Western Australia border.
And as mentioned, uh, please uh, monitor the AU channel in the morning. I will have another update. And bye for now. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool 13 at extension 9094.